Hello, welcome back, Citric here. It is May 2nd, 2022, and we have here Shivana sitting at a 53% win rate. She is now the highest win rate jungler She's at the top of the top. Okay, she's is sorted by all ranks in the last 30 days globally. She's been popping off mainly because of one build, and that is the AP Bruiser build, the Frostfire, Sork Shoes, Demonic, Boots are flexible. But compared to the counterparts, the full AP build, the AD Shivana build, you know, the win rate, you can clearly see that 60. Once you get to, you know, these items, you have that 60% win rate. That is just, that's such a high number. So, uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, hey, Citric, what are, you, what are you supposed to build after this? Because, you know, I've in my guide, I have just so many items here. She's so flexible. I think before I start, you know, talking about the item choices, just want to explain, you know, why is this build strong? And that will get us a better idea of, you know, which items to go for. First of all, we're looking at the Frostfire Gauntlet. This item makes you very tanky. We rush it because Shivana is actually, you know, she has a lot of damage. And being and buying and rushing like a 2800 gold tank mythic does not set her back. Okay, this actually helps her a lot. Getting that slow, that's one of her weaknesses, not having CC so she can stick on the targets. Uh, the mythic passive will make her tankier with each item purchase. And, um, you know, ability haste is very good. She gets some damage off, off of the uh, auto as well. And there's a burn, helps her clear speed. This item overall is just really, really good as a first item on Shivana. Although, in this build, you are lacking attack speed. You know, if you were to try it out, you would realize Shivana does not actually need attack speed uh, to, to function. And this build is the perfect example for that. Uh, and then we have Demonic Embrace, the other, you know, the other part to this core. We have some AP, a lot of health for a 3,000 item, for a 3,000 gold item. And then this Dark Pack passive plays very nicely with Frostfire as you gain, you gain ability power equal to 2% bonus health. And you know, Shivana's abilities scale, you know, they, they all scale with AP in some sort of way. And that's just great. And then we have this uh, Azakana Gaze. Okay, this burn is incredible. Shivana is a melee champion. She takes full advantage of the burn. She gets that full 8% across the 4 seconds. And this is a percentage health burn. So if you're playing against the tanks, you're actually dealing a lot of damage. Even if you're not playing into tanks, this burn is actually still a lot of damage. She applies this very easily. She has a long range, you know, on that dragon form E. And it's a big ass AoE. She can hit multiple targets. And then there's a ground burn that when, you know, when people walk over, they will apply this burn again. And it's just, it's just an incredible item on Shivana right now. I think this item is a little overtuned, but this is what makes her so good. Okay. And this, this is like a relatively cheap build. Off of two items, you're already spiking really, really hard. And uh, this idea, you want to go tanky, you want to get damage at the same time. Okay, The idea is you want to be in the enemy's face, you want to be able to play frontline for your team. You're shifting the power into the early mid game, and uh, that's what we're looking for. The most common items that I'm buying are probably the Cosmic Drive, the Zhonya's, Medjai's if possible, Abyssal Mask, Warmogs, Anathemas. Uh, on third item, okay, this is very common for me to buy these items. Oh, actually, Thornmill as well. These seven items are probably the most common third item choices that I always go. Uh, obviously, first of all, you want to ask yourself, do I need more damage? Uh, if you don't need more damage, you can go a tank item to frontline harder for your team. Let's walk into uh, actually before that, let's take a look. Okay, there's a uh, item sets. If you want this item set. Uh, in your client, you can join the Discord, Citrix Lemon Farm. Okay, there's a channel called Item Sets, and it has all the item sets in there. Or not. I mean, you don't have to. Let's take a look at this first game. In this game, I am sitting on Demonic and Frostfire. I'm about to buy an item. I've already decided I was going to go Warmogs here, I think. But let's just take a look at kind of the reasoning behind that. So first of all, first of all, always look at you know how much damage you have, right? Do we have enough damage on the team? I'm looking at Ari. She's seven and one. I'm gonna trust her. Okay, okay. I will trust her to deal the magic damage, the Jin and the Warwick. Okay, good enough damage here. They're not. They're, no, the Warwick is buying a Boric. This guy has three items. We're fine. All I need to do is frontline for the team. 
to get them to deal the damage. And at the same time, I'm still going to be doing damage, right? So now we need to look for a tank item that is that is good here. Okay, let's take a look at enemies' damage composition. They're actually very heavy AD. They have Wukong, they have Akshan, they also have Sivir and Pike. That's a lot of that's a lot of physical damage. But I'm actually not going to buy an armor item here, because why? Because the Akshan is not doing so hot, the Sivir is not doing so hot, and kind of the Karthus is the one that's doing well here. Right? It looks like he has the most gold. And um, I could have actually went Anathemas here. Uh, anathemas, remember, is a very common item choice that I that I go. I tend to go if uh, I tend to go Anathemas if there is a very fed enemy carry on the team. Not in this case. There is actually just one magic damage dealing champion. You can also buy Anathemas chains to kind of take advantage of that. So I don't have to buy MR. Right? If I just buy this item, I'm kind of taking care of the magic damage on that side. And I don't have to buy MR, and I can itemize for armor, and then these guys will be screwed even further. But in this game, I actually buy Warmogs. Warmogs will allow you to play in human form a little bit longer. It allows you to trade some health off, and then, you know, walk back, regen it back, and then jump in with dragon form. That's why Warmogs is so good, and it allows you to stay on the map. Here, Warmogs or Anathemas, I think, both good options, but I did go with the Warmogs. Over here, we have a game where I'm actually doing fairly well, six and one, and uh, my Lissandra is not doing so hot. She's one and two. So immediately I'm thinking I need to do more damage, right, to make up for for what she's lacking. And um, so we're gonna be looking in this section, um, and we're gonna take a look. Do we need MR? Do we have like MR? Like, do we need Zanya? Do we need Abyssal Mask? Doesn't seem like it. Do we like there are no auto attackers that I'm that scared of? Uh don't really need the healing reduction. So here I'm gonna go for the cosmic drive. If there are no particular cases where I need these other items, then I'm just gonna go for the cosmic drive. It's just such a good item on Shivana on in this build in particular. And then for the third game, let's take a look. I believe I go Abyssal Mask here. Uh and for why? Because take a look. Enemy has um let's take a look at who's doing well on the enemy team it is the i guess is the zoe they have a magic damage dealing you know duo jungler mid we have actually not enough physical damage my 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 zed and my uh Yasuo is actually not doing so hot here i might have actually went a different item maybe you know buying bork if i really wanted to help out my team's physical damage but I felt like it was fine. I have a tank top and, uh, you know, my brand is one in three. So, you know what, let's go a bit more into magic damage. And uh, I pick up the Abyssal Mask here because Jax is not doing so hot. The Akshan is not doing so hot. All right. And uh, here we have a game where I go Thornmail. Okay, so this is actually a very, a very good example. I mean, the Swain is kind of inting Wild Turtle, by the way, kind of weird. Um, but they have, you know, these uh, healing healing guys. Irelia has a Bork, has a Gore Drinker, has a Death Dance, and then the Viego has, I guess, Divine. And they both have Conqueror. So the Stormail was going to be very good for me to duel these two guys, even on the Caitlyn. Like, if the Caitlyn is auto attacking me a lot, she will take a good amount of damage. Um... And there's some healing with, I guess, this Moonstone. And uh, b before all that, you want to take a look at, you know, your team, how they're doing. We have Kaisa, we have Gangplank, we have Katarina. They're actually doing fairly well. We have a lot of damage. And I feel like that was enough, right? I felt like that was enough. I didn't need to do too much damage here. Maybe I could have gone for a full tank item. But I instead opted for the Thornmail because I felt like, hey, maybe I need to do some healing reduction. And then for the last one, this is the case I was talking about earlier, where if you're behind and just want to get some value out of your kit, here the Graves is 7, 1, and 9. That's just, that's incredible, right? Um, he's 40 CS up on me, and I'm just feeling like I'm too squishy. I, you know, If I jump in, I'm still dying. So I I immediately rush the Zanyas to get more value out of my kit. And this allows me to jump in, land my E, and then go into stasis, avoid some damage, and let my team follow up. So that, those were the cases. Um, let's get back here 
uh, take a look at these damage items. Actually, these are damage items are very rare. I rarely buy these unless I absolutely need it. I think most of my teams are just full damage. So I, I never really think I need more damage. And of course, the build, the idea of the build is that you want to be tankier and dealing more damage at the same time. You don't want to put too much uh, into one side and not, and not care about the other. So yeah, um, study up on these items, I think. Read over these item descriptions and then, and then you'll get a better understanding of when to build which. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. I'll be uploading a video every day this month. So uh, stay tuned. Bye-bye.